Hey, so before we start this video, I just want to come on very quickly and let you know that nothing, absolutely nothing in this video is sponsored. Just so you know, transparency, hello. Also, this video was filmed a few weeks ago, probably closer to about three and a half weeks ago. And the photos that I took, one of them got featured on Spencer's Instagram. They shared my photo, uh, which is the third time that Spencer's has shared my photo, which is absolutely crazy because I've been shopping there since I was a child. So anyways, this experiment was a success, a great success. So I have been in the house for more than I would like to ever be in the house. Uh, so I've been watching a lot of TikTok and I don't want to say that TikTok is fueling my creativity right now, but it is. So one thing I saw on TikTok was how to change a blank wall in your house to like a photo studio. So I'm very curious about that, but right now I feel like garbage and I don't really feel the best. There's a lot of crap going on right now, so I think I need a little bit of self-care first. This week I'm super excited to be partnering with Youth Skincare to show you their anti-aging moisturizer. I have a very minimal skincare routine, so I'm going to go and kind of give you a product review um, and give you my thoughts, do a little bit of skincare, and get ready to turn my living room into a photo studio, so please stay tuned. Okay, so uh, sorry about the echo because I am now in my bathroom. I am in something a little more comfortable, ready to get ready. It's like 7 p.m. and I'm getting ready to start the day. This is a weird time in the world, in my life, just weird. So I don't usually have a very extreme skincare routine. I like to try out new skincare products all the time to see what works for my skin and what doesn't work for my skin. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have saw that I posted a bubble mask that I tried the other day and my skin just didn't feel the greatest after it. So I haven't worn makeup in a few days, but I have been taking care of my skin. This St. Ives lotion is the lotion that I usually use on my face. It is avocado, just avocado. Um, I just started using it a little while ago and I really like it. I like how moisturizing it feels, but it does leave me a little greasy. So I'm going to be swapping this for my youth moisturizer today. So since I'm not going to be doing any sort of mask on my face today, I'm just doing some simple skincare to get ready to do some photos. I'm going to show you the bare minimum of what I use on a daily basis for my skin. So since we've been obviously in lockdown and quarantine, I haven't been able to get out of the house. These have been a giant lifesaver for me and these, are, and these are what I've been using to wash my face because I am running out of everything and I'm trying to just kind of conserve. So these are the Olay Daily Facials. These are just the sheets that you soak. You just, they're like pre, um, what's the word? They're full of product already, so I just use it to quickly wash my face before I put any makeup on to get rid of all the dirt or excess makeup that I might have on my skin. So something I started doing recently, I always thought that it was a gimmick, but um, since my job title is a cosmetician, one of the things that that job title entitles, entitles the one of the things that the, that the job includes is taking classes with brands to learn more about them so um, recently I took a class with Uriage and I learned about this stuff I'm not going to talk about it too much right now but I will let you know that I just bought like the trial size to try out um, it's changed my life <laughs> if you ever get that like squeaky clean feeling I don't get that with the Olay facials but like Sometimes you get that squeaky clean feeling after washing your face. I spray myself with this afterwards and it's gone like this. It says it it says it hydrates, protects, and soothes skin and it really does. So after a couple of steps in my skincare routine, I will go ahead and spray myself with this because it really does. It soothes the skin so much. Let's get into the youth product. This is the Anti-Aging Moisture L22. Moisturizer, did I just say moisture? I'm, it's been a day. Anyway, why did I just say that like that? It's, it's been a day, like I'm in sex, it's been a day. So, opening the product, you will find that 
It is a weighty glass bottle and I like the pump. I like everything about this. I like everything going on here, but it is very minimalistic and I like that a lot. This feels very comparable to the next product that I'm going to get into, which is my, my Vichy product, but the, like, the packaging feels very comparable to a Vichy product. Vichy uses a lot of glass and that's why I'm comparing it to that. So the great thing about this moisturizer is that it's formulated to keep your skin looking young by using lipids from botanical sources and carefully recombining them to closely resemble your younger skin's natural oils. So since I am only 26, this is a good, well I'm not saying like only, like I feel like I am, I am a quarter way through my life right now, but this is a perfect time to start using anti-aging products. Since my skin is relatively healthy and can bounce back from things pretty quickly. So two things this includes that I absolutely love is jojoba oil. It is Why am I having a hard time with that word? Is jojoba oil and macadamia seed oil, which is fantastic for your skin. I've been using products containing both of those for a long time. Back when I first started my channel, I did a lot of skincare heavy things. I actually did a whole skincare series that didn't get very many views, but it's fine because I can come back to you guys now and share that knowledge with you. So it does say to just use a dime size amount and apply it all over your face and neck. So I'm, ass I'm assuming that it will be quite viscous. That's the word, right? Viscous. So that little bit right there is five pumps on my hand and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it all over my skin. I don't notice it smells very natural and it doesn't, um, like it doesn't smell overwhelming because it's not like scented in a way that you would be turned off by. I really like, like this is my first time using this guys. So I really like how this just feels like it kind of melts into the skin. It doesn't feel weighty or greasy at all. So I love that. This is absolutely fantastic. I like that a lot. So if you like what you saw from my first impressions, I make no money from this. This was just partnered to show you guys the product and make a video for you guys. I will leave this link down below because I think this is a fantastic product. This is my first time using it. I like this, like my skin does not feel greasy. When I was using this, I would feel immediately greasy afterwards. And maybe it's because this is drugstore and this is not. You guys can, you guys can purchase this on Amazon but my skin does not feel sticky, does not feel greasy. It's set in very quickly. So I will be using this in my Instagram TV videos coming up so that you guys can see an update and see how it's working for my skin. Last but not least, we have something that I swear by. I live by this product. This is the Vichy Mineral 89 Eyes and I'm almost out of it, but this is by far my favorite eye product. I even go as far as putting a little bit of this in my brow pomade to like liven it back up a little bit, but I am obsessed with this. I use it every single day. I need this quarantine to be lifted because I need to go shopping. Please stay at home. <laughs> So I just put a little tiny bit under my eyes because a little bit does go a long way and I will go ahead and put some above my eyes on my eyelids. And that's it. That's all she wrote. That's all I do for my skincare. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready and we'll come back and we will set up to do some sort of photo shoot because I have an idea in mind. I don't have any newspapers but I do have a lot of something that I can put on the walls so stay tuned. Thank you once again, Youth Skincare, for partnering with me on this video. Later. Hello. So I found this random Christmas wrapping paper in my grandma's closet. Uh, I figured that it would be perfect, so I'm just going to hang it up with some tape. Uh, please watch me struggle for the next few minutes. Even though I lined it up flush with the top of the wall and the ceiling, it still came out crooked every time. So now I'm just convinced my apartment is crooked.
Oh god, is this dinner party? <laughs> oh god, is this dinner party? Nine, nine, and every time. This is almost as bad as Scott's Todd. Okay, so just smoothing it out because the light was kind of glaring on it weird, but it's fine. We made it work. And then seeing that horizontally, is this vertically or horizontally? Whatever way this is, it looks fine on camera. Okay, so now that I am ready to finally shoot something, I obviously am not going to wear my Lore DIY merch. <laughs> I am going to change. So since this background has like reds, greens, I am going to change into a yellow bodysuit because I think yellow will complement the colors. Also, I'm just kind of like, um, will this work? Like, will I be able to get good photos? Who knows? So I am going to set my phone up behind everything to film so that you can see the behind the scenes, I guess. Um, and then I'll show you the finished product once it's edited. So I'm going to get changed, changed. I'm gonna get changed, uh, pop on some lipstick and then shoot some photos. Also, just so you guys know, um, <laughs> I am shooting with my two studio lights. I have a ring light, I also have like an LED bar light, but for this I'm just shooting with two studio lights. That's it. All right, I genuinely hope this inspired you guys to like get out of your comfort zones and do something in your house. As you can see, I'm like, I'm a, would you stop shaking my camera in? My God, just let me do something on my own for once, please. Thank you. Anyone else have cats that just won't leave you alone? Anyways, I hope that this inspired you guys. Oh. Anyways, as you can see, I'm fixing the holes in my walls because I'm getting ready to paint my entire apartment a fresh coat of white. And it will be very refreshing to have that because it's just like an off beige right now and it's not very inspiring. But anyways, this was very inspiring. This got me out of my comfort zone a little bit. This got me doing something creative. I hope you enjoyed seeing something different from me. I have another idea to do something like this, but with a chapter book, an old like, library book that I, we'll get into it later but like I want to rip the pages out and tape them to the wall and like do some sort of I don't know nerdy photos I don't know well I'm trying to be creative okay anyways if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up thank you youth skincare for partnering with me on this video I don't make any money on this it's just to show you guys a new product something I actually really enjoy so I will leave it linked down below if you are interested. Once again, I make no money from this. It's just to show you guys something new. Um, I hope that you guys got some new ideas and uh, hopefully you guys create something. If you do, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. Go ahead and check out the photos that I posted and I'll see you in my next video. Sayonara, suckers.